Hello, Crazy Talk users, and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 tutorial where we're going to show you how to import your own audio and do basic lip syncing. So, in the last tutorial, we were learning how to remove the background, and I ended up with this Samuel L. Jackson project. So, I would like to continue with it. So, the first thing to do to add your own uh, audio is we go up to the toolbar and we click on import audio here and we get prompted by four options I can import a previously saved script I can use a text-to-speech engine I may import an audio file or I can record my own so let's use the text-to-speech one and I can type something in hey kids you know who we are and I will click on OK and immediately I need to choose if I want to create a lip sync only create a listen mode which will only animate the head or create a talk mode which will animate both the head and the lip sync so let's try a lip sync only hey kids you know who we are okay not bad so I will command Z this or undo and now I will try to record my own audio so if you have a built-in microphone you can do this hey kids you know who we are and now this time I want to generate a talk mode remember this will generate uh, a head movement based on that audio and also a lip sync hey kids you know who we are okay not bad let me undo this and the last one I will import an audio file so I basically compiled an audio file from a movie and I and I made this into an mp3 open file and I will generate a talk mode again hey kids you know who we are we're associates right that's right okay not bad so now that we have our audio inside and we generated these lip syncs, let's take a look at them. I will open the timeline down here. You can do this also with F3. Okay, let me expand. And you see that in the audio track, I have that audio file that we imported. Okay? So in Crazy Talk 7, when you import an audio, you can also choose to morph the voice. And I do this by going to the left and clicking on this little button here and I can choose to increase the pitch scale hey, kids. or increase the resonance <laughs> or just simply give it a robotic voice with an echo Let's try about that hey, 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 hey. okay in the end I choose not to so I'll just reset all and close the panel now besides this uh, I want to click on this little button in the audio track and this will open all the lip syncs that were automatically generated by Crazy Talk. So let me zo zoom in and I'll play this back and you'll see the time scrub moving and each time the time scrub touches one of these lip syncs down here the, the actor's mouth will animate according to that lip sync. Hey kids, you know who we are? Okay, great. Now, Crazy Talk by itself does a fairly good job at animating the, the character. So I can actually select one of these lip syncs and I can double click on it and this will open the phonem library so crazy talk chose this phonem here but I can replace it with another one if I choose to and I can also increase the expressiveness to better match that tone in the voice okay so let me command Z this okay so I will move the timeline forward to frame 155 right about here and I know that the character will, will say the word right so let me play this back right 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 okay and these are the lip syncs that were generated by crazy talk so I can choose to select all of them right click and I can delete them we do this because we want to create our own So let me go back and there's two ways to create my own lip syncs one I can go to the left side and choose on the add lip sync uh, option and this will open the panel so then I can choose any of the specific um, phonemes and start building my own now likewise I can also double click on an empty area and this will open the panel okay 
So how do we choose the correct lip syncs? Now what I do is that I, I look at my lips, I say the word in front of a mirror and I see the shape of my lips and I try to remember that. And then I choose the appropriate phonem that will replicate that lip shape. So let me show you something. I'm gonna do a little trick here. I know I have an onboard camera. Change the resolution. Okay, here we go. So we want to say the word right, right. And I can distinguish four sounds. R, A, E, T. So right. So I, I look at my mouth in front of a mirror and then I'll try to replicate these phonemes. Let me go back to frame 155. Okay, Give me, let me get rid of this one. Delete, yes. And I'll double click to open the phoneme library. So the first one is er. So let's try R. I like the expressiveness at that level. Now I will move the time scrub forward. Next one is A. Ah. So let me click on A. Ah. And I, I would like to drop the expressiveness a bit. Er, A. Ah. Move the timeline forward, the time scrub forward. And then I want to add the E phoneme. E, okay, and then move the, this time scrub and finalize with a T and drop the expressiveness. Okay, now after this you see that there is a long silence in the audio. So what I like to do is that I want to drop a NUN phoneme. This will make sure that my mouth is completely closed for that uh, time segment. So let me close this, bring the time scrub forward, and I can play this. Right? right and take a look at the lips right right that looks pretty good or I can grab the time scrub and I can slowly drag this over right and if I, I like how it looks then you're done um, another little trick is that sometimes I personally I make the mistake sometimes where I add too many lip syncs and you will notice in your final animation that the mouth of your character is moving too fast and this is because you have a lot of lip syncs so sometimes you might want to delete uh, one or two of the lip syncs inside so here I have five right now so I can get rid of this E one because f from the A to the T the mouth will crazy talk will blend that mouth from A to T so it will sort of simulate an E sound in the middle and I can get away with it so let me get rid of this E one, delete, and I will reorganize these lip syncs. Let me play this back. Right. Right. And it looks okay. Right. Great. So I like the results and I'm going to use this. Now I will move the timeline forward and I will go to frame 122. I go here because I know that at this point, the, the character, the actor will say the word right again. Let's hear this right right okay right about there so many times in a conversation you will be repeating some of the same words so instead of going through all the trouble of generating these lip syncs again crazy talk can do it automatically but if you're doing it manually you may want to just copy paste the previous lip syncs you made for that specific word and just put them again in some other uh, audio segment so let me do that here I will select all of these and delete and I will go back remember I can move the timeline or I can go to frame 155 okay let me copy all of these lip syncs go forward and right about there paste so let's listen to it right right not bad so in the end you could invest some time in this. It would depend on how long your audio file is. But you will notice that it's, it's much worth it if you want to really increase the expressiveness in one particular word. Because it's not the same as saying, hey kids, than saying, hey kids. So what can we do? I have a project here, same project, which I finished. And I will show you with a little time and effort what kind of animations you can create with Crazy Talk. So let's enjoy. Hey kids, you know who we are? We're associates, right? That's right. Now, here's the situation. 
You're the righteous man, and I'm the righteous man. I'd like that. And there we go. And that's how easy it is to create your own lip syncs in Crazy Talk 7.